you stare into the abyss, the abyss will stare back into you. It? Who disturbs me at such late hour? Good evening, madam. I extend my apologies for intruding upon your time. However, I must insist on speaking with Dr. Thomas White. Is he available? Are you out of your mind? Or is this some macabre and cruel joke? My husband's gone, and the incompetence of the police in determining his fate is killing me. Please, let me be and stop this nonsense immediately. Who are you? What do you want? I offer my sincerest condolences for your loss, madame. I am sure his soul will find eternal rest in due time. My name holds no significance but I represent the organization with which Dr. Thomas collaborated. His sudden departure has placed us in a most precarious situation, for his work was nearly complete in the recent weeks. Dr. White spoke highly of you on numerous occasions. If there were anyone capable of continuing his work, it would be you. Us, often, he reminded us. You have expressed your condolences in a most disgusting manner. Is there anything else? Indeed, Madame de Ress. For you see, while we mourn Dr. White's passing, we are compelled to find a way to complete his work. Forgive my audacity, Dr. Emily, but would you be interested in carrying on your husband's research? As Dr. Thomas may have shared with you, this is an extraordinary opportunity that arises only once in a lifetime. What? I don't care about any offer. Didn't you just hear? He's dead. How dare you even suggest such a thing? I intended no offense, madame. We would not consider anyone else to continue his work. I implore you reconsider our offer. Perhaps delving into your husband's recent endeavors may provide some insight and closure. For closure takes many forms, madame. My associates shall provide you with our contact information. I beseech you, Dr. White, we consider all proposition. Vision. Hmm. <laughs> Are anything of substance of this individual so suspected? What kind of task did Thomas perform for them? To hell with them! Should they be in any way implicated in his demise, perhaps I shall uncover the truth. Moreover, the psychiatry did counsel me to immerse myself in my work. And so I shall. Good evening. This is Emily White, wife of the late Dr. White. I need to head out to the coast as soon as possible. How soon can you have one right here? I'll be waiting.
Wait! When do you return? Who is going to help me through all of this? Hello? Mister? According to the briefing notes, I am supposed to retrieve three artifacts of an ancient culture that was believed to be lost. Thomas had already found one and never reported back thereafter. Mrs. White, I'm sorry I had to leave. This place is maddening. I heard something coming out from a cave nearby, inside the forest, and I wasn't mistaken. I decided to bake a little, then I found myself running for my life, and I dropped the key to the shed. Again, I'm sorry. Your belongings are inside the shed, but I beg you, leave this place. Leave this godforsaken place. No, 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 no! What cave? I need my things. You run? That means there was another boat? You bloody coward! Now I'll have to wait to come to get to me. But fair find that I'm fine. Where is that cave? <sighs> huh, there it is. and rituals for the mud. They speak of freeing our minds, of a way of embracing chaos. Just utter nonsense. <laughs> but myself alone in this forsaken place, Am I, I can things? no longer assure what we I just saw the bloody thing! It, it was there! I swear there's so <laughs> many caves. Sometimes I can hear Is bones and flesh being torn.
have to wait. We all thank you for making such a wonderful decision. Committing your spirit to our work. There I say, your husband's work. From Thomas's reports, we know he moved his research to that lighthouse. The keys to it should lie somewhere inside the cabin. I suggest you do the same and move towards it. I don't care about your work, but I have learned about Thomas Druid. I guess it's the only way. Heading for the lighthouse. Where did you hit that key, Thomas? Night two. I have used my first few days in the place to get to know the group of people. They use this place as a prey site. A single person is released into the island to perform a ritual. Is this this is a profound not kind of ritual. What is this? All I know is that these artifacts have something to do with it. There's only one artifact left. Thomas should have left something around. Day three. I have no safe place to stay anymore. I dare not return to the cabin. My only hope is to finish my work tonight and hope that the boatman comes and gets me. There is only one more place for me to search for the last artifact. An arrangement of sewers that were meant to serve the group settlement. If all this was in my mind, why are these cells so loud? What foul things will I find in there? I... I feel my courage leaving me. No, but what happened to you? I feel like I'm chasing after you, plane. I just need to know what happened.
Emily. Thomas, is that you? What do I do now? Tell me. I am a fool. From the moment I set foot in this cursed island, my fate was decided. Completely played by hallucinations and a group of lunatics. My goal was not only to retrieve these things, but to complete a ritual. This place was the site for me, inhabited by a trapped, dark soul. Also, my purpose is to trap the world into insanity. That's its goal. To let the world succumb to madness, to chaos. To what this group calls the true human nature. But I will not meet their commands. I'm going to end this now. By my own hand. Forgive me, Emily. Thomas, I, I, I'm sorry, too. 